Hello and welcome to another random review and how to. If you like these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install this Odi shower base drain. Um, so this is going to go down here. You can see I have a uh, fiberglass base. Uh, this is actually the Sterling. It's a three-piece shower kit and then it has the base. So the base actually makes four. I've been finishing my basement, so I actually have my walls studded out here. Um, and when you're doing a shower base, there are certain parameters you want to follow with your studs. These studs here in the back are actually 15 off center from the center and then 16 on the ends. And then you got to make sure that you have uh, your base size there so that you can put in the wall. So I'm actually going to have another video up on my channel of how I actually do the full installation of the shower. But today I just wanted to talk about this drain because I had some issues finding a drain. As you can kind of see over the back, um, I have my two inch pipe coming up. So this is actually where the shower is going to be laid in here. Um, and my two inch pipe right there is actually sticking up about an inch, inch and a half. And that's going to be just the right height to fit in here. So I had one of these earlier I bought and I didn't realize because I'm not a plumber that this all um, comes apart inside. Obviously, you're going to want to take this ring off and then take off the two gaskets. Um, one is rubber and one is almost like a, a cardboard type thing, but you wanna make sure that these two pieces go on the bottom here. So this would actually go underneath your shower. And then this drain part, which you can see in there, it has this uh, little wrench. I'll show you how to get that out. This part goes on the top and then this secures with the shower in between and tightens. So I'm gonna actually pull out this top area real quick here and show you that these things are on here pretty tight as well so here when you take off this top piece it just pops off it takes a little bit uh, there is a lip there if you want to try to grab it there pop that off and then inside here you see you have this little wrench so what we're gonna do is you would use this wrench uh, to get this piece out in the middle here screw that and get that going and that piece comes out now you want to be careful you're making a note of where that lips at but just remember your wrench is always going to go on the top so this is always going to face up like that and then you have this rubber piece that goes inside here what I did earlier is I left this piece in with this piece screwed in and I tried jamming this into the whole uh, shower there and it did not work out I ended up ripping up the rubber um, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this piece in. I have some plumber's putty to put underneath the rim here. I'm gonna adhere that into the hole. So that's gonna go down there in the hole. And then I'm gonna set this bottom underneath, screw that in, and then that's gonna be the step one. And then we're actually gonna lay that shower on top of that pipe. And we're gonna fit this rubber down in there. Uh, we're gonna make sure we have our lip coming up because that lip actually goes right into that piece there. And we're going to want to make sure we do that. And then we're going to tighten this inside of here around the pipe. If you try to do it the other way, what's going to happen is this rubber is going to have too much friction trying to put the weight of this base on and you're going to end up tearing everything apart. So I'm going to go ahead and do that install part now. So here's my plumber's putty. I'm just going to roll this up like you would if you're back in the day playing Play-Doh. And then I'm going to lay that around the lip here. And everything that I saw said, you know, make sure that you're going a little heavy on that. Don't be afraid to go heavy on that. Stick that underneath there. And then that piece is what we're gonna secure into the top. So our plumber putty, once we start to tighten this down, it's gonna squeeze that putty out and we're just gonna get a little knife or screwdriver or something and just peel it off of the round of the lip there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in these two parts right now. Now to lift up my base, I have a four by four back there. I'm actually gonna do that so I can reach underneath there. So rubber gaskets on top, other pieces on the bottom. It helps with the friction, so if you try to tighten that in without that piece, you'll roll this rubber and that's not something you want to do. So 
I lifted this piece up, you can see here on the bottom, that's what it looks like screwed in there. And then on this side, you can see that the putty is squeezing out of there, so pretty tight. Make sure you screw this tight because once you set everything down and you have your drywall come in, I mean, you're not gonna be able to get really to this part anymore, so you wanna make sure that you have that nice and tight underneath there. And then, like I said, we're just gonna peel this putty away on top, and that way, have too much excess and then I'll go back in and clean the rest of that up in a later time. So for this next part what I was going to do is drop this into place here so I've actually already checked this and the reason I did is because I put this drain underneath my concrete that I poured was flush uh, so I ended up having to dig out a little bit of concrete around there now that I know that this whole piece will lay flat in here so the next step I'm actually going to do because I know it's ready is I'm gonna go ahead and spray my foam underneath here. I'm gonna let it rise for a couple seconds and then I'm gonna drop this down and then put some weights on it. Um, so it kind of holds it down in place, lets that foam rise underneath it to where it should be. So that's gonna be the next step. So now that I have my base set, uh, I let the foam rise for a little bit. Don't mind the sweat, it's very hot outside. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move my three pieces into place. So you might want to think about doing this with two people if you don't have it. Um, I'm one person, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift these pieces up.
these side pieces, there's two little feet that it's going to groove in and slide into, and then there's a little piece on the top back that kind of clips underneath this back piece that holds it together before you zip it in. So it was going to start from the side and push in until it all snaps and falls into place. You want everything back here to be as flush as it possibly can, and then if you have gaps, you can always cock out later um, with some silicone. So here's it all pieced together. You can see my gap back here. There's always gonna be that little bit of a gap, but uh, once you secure it into place and screw it in, you can always, like I said, silicone that up. So see my studs here in the back. Um, these ones, as I mentioned, are 15 off center of each other, and then these two are 16 over there, 16 there. That's the spec sheet that they asked for. So what I ended up doing is I pre-drilled holes here at each stud. And I'm just gonna use, I actually use the impact hammer to get them into the wood and get them through everything um, so they secure it. Some of these, they do crack a little bit, so you have to be careful when I bought this, uh, when I'm screwing this in, it actually cracked there. It did have a slight crack over here on the edge. Up there you can see, but it's high enough that I don't care and I'm, I'm not loading it back up and taking it back. So just make sure everything's in the place. I got my one stud here um, that this screws into. And then as my drywall guy comes and finishes, he'll actually drywall that lip all the way across the top. So everything here is in place. I'm gonna go ahead and just zip in all my screws. Um, this wall I actually extended out a little bit. I do not have a beam going straight up and down. So I just put in some cross braces there in the wood that I can go ahead and zip into. You can see the back view of that. So that's the three piece Sterling shower uh, with the base installation. Um, like I said, you like this video? Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's more to come. Here is the last little piece I forgot to show. Um, so what I did is this pipe was a little bit off on this side. So you can see it's, and it's also curved cut. So this rubber uh, had a heck of a time getting down in there. So I just used a screwdriver and I wedged it through the back and I just kept working it around the edges until it finally went down. So that's what happens. You put that piece back in as I showed earlier. You spin it, tighten this down nice and tight. And then that's on there. Um, what I might end up doing, just to secure this a little more, is just silicone around this edge. Um, make sure no water kind of leaks out there because it's the last thing you want is water pouring out. When you're all done, just get this plate back on there. Just hit that back in, and there you go. So that's how you finish off that uh, OD drain base uh, for fiberglass. So thanks again for watching. See you next time.